Greetings, all you Martians out there. It's time for another round of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. The soul show is a tour de force of nostalgia from the good old days. And through music and shared stories, we can look forward to a bright future out here among the stars. The deepest tunes, the warmest memories. Radio Nostalgia from Mars.
that takes me back to dark and smoky nightclubs and late dinners with friends. But alas, we cannot dwell there forever. So out of the darkness and into the light. taking us back to the days of late-stage capitalism at its finest. Child labor never sounded so sweet. Speaking of labor, get those Gucci goods off and your hazmats on. The recent dust storm has wreaked havoc on the air duct in sector 2A and 3C, so we need all hands on deck. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale, fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame. Musique, radio nostalgie. And now for another story. A look back at life on the open road and a look forward to the long road ahead. 
Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of life. I'm serious. I tried to recreate that feeling here on Mars. So I took a Tesla City Delivery EVA for a spin on the Planitia Plains. But it's like driving a janky VR simulation. It made me miss riding my motorcycle by Jolene. Even more. 35 for 30 days in the blistering heat of July, I took a 4,600 mile trip across America on my motorbike. We set off from California, we zigzagged up into the country, and covered 18 states all the way up to New York City, where I was to take over my father's company. During the trip, the biggest surprise for me was how much of my thinking was practical. Even banal, I just focused on staying alive at 70 miles an hour on two wheels with crazy wings buffering me in all directions. So while my mind was this constant barrage of compulsive thoughts, those thoughts were generally practical. Like, how do I get to that destination before dark? Am I drinking enough water? Am I hydrating? The bigger picture stuff of why am I doing this and what is life about anyway, didn't come until later. We started the trip at the peak of California's infamous orange heat wave and we rode it for five days in temperatures you wouldn't believe. Some mornings I'd have sweat dripping from my elbows before we even set off. My eyes hurt from the sun. Sometimes I'd wake up so sore I could barely move. My inner thighs had engine burn. And even though those closest to me actually didn't think I'd make it, huh, I learned that I could physically overcome much more than I thought. So after that rite of passage, I knew I could take over the company. Instead of being a type of little brat whose father would pay for her theatre career, I turned the company into a trillion dollar business. And now, here I am with my family on Mars, among the last representatives of humanity in the universe. But aside from this high-minded idealism, life has no meaning. Because of these damn EVA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. On Mars, even if you manage to get outside, you're still trapped in a bubble of your own stale air. No matter where you go, isolation clings to you. Unlike the open road, it's an experience of there's no dancing asphalt in the heat, and no neon lit diners, and two a.m. omelets with green bell peppers, and yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns, greasy bacon, and black coffee. Instead, there's this barren rock, and strictly monitored oxygen levels in sterile domes. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we are, but I wonder. Just maybe it's cooling us. Just like during my epic life, I've mostly figured out the banal questions about water and food and sanitation, and now the greater questions are looming. What are we really doing? What is our future? And what will the meaning of life be for my kids? At any rate, the point is, I miss my Jolene. That's all. Thanks for listening. Space, the space out with some delicious psych rock. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We want to know your opinion, so please tell us how you feel about this game. This is Eddie signing out, and as always, happy gaming.